hi welcome to automation testing that in in this video we will see locators in protractor so what do you mean by locator right locator means to identify something on the web page means how you interact any element on the web page there is a text box there is a button there is a link on the web page so if you want to click on this if you want to enter something into the text box so how you can do all these things so first you need to identify those elements by taking any reference right so for that we use locators to identify an element on the web page so for that we have so many ways to identify the element in protractor so that we'll discuss here so protractor specific are there and then selenium specific are there so why selenium specific means protractor is a wrapper on top of selenium that is the reason whatever is available in the selenium same thing can be used in protractor apart from that you have some extra locator that is the advantage of protractor so these are from selenium so id name tag name class name link text partial link text css selector xpath all these things comes from selenium you can use all these things to identify the element so I am not going to discuss all these things in detail. The reason in my YouTube channel, I already discussed all these things. You see that Selenium WebDriver locators. And apart from that, I exclusively discussed about CSS selector part 1. And uh, you can see that CSS selector part 2, XPath part 1. And you can find XPath part 2. So if you go through all these things, you will get an in detail idea about all the Selenium locators my suggestion is please watch these videos also to get more and uh, what you say like um, uh, in detail knowledge okay so now go back and here protractor specific so apart from the selenium you have some specific locators in protractor that is one of the advantages when you go with protractor for what is say angular application automation so we have binding, exact binding, modal, button text, partial button text, repeater, exact repeater, CSS containing text, options, deep CSS, all these things. So these things also I am not going to discuss in detail in this. So as part of this video series, in our upcoming videos, when you are automating some elements, obviously we will take these things to identify the element. So if it is not available, we'll go for some other options, but most will will try to take this um, locators wherever it is possible. Then we can demonstrate the same thing in that. So, and all the things may not be possible, means may not work in latest uh, protractor. The reason is Angular is changing day by day and they are changing so many things. As part of that, some may be deprecated. So if you're not finding something, don't bother about that. So I think their suggestion is go with CSS. When you are not finding anything specific to protractor, then you can go with CSS. So that is the best option to identify the element. But here button text, partial button text, and options, CSS containing text, these things are all very generic. You can take all those things. But binding, exact binding, these repeaters, all these things may not available or may, may available in your angular so but these are all the protractor specific locators and we'll try to take all these things whenever there is a, a need are available in the application in our upcoming videos so that's what i want to discuss in this video so these are all about uh, locators in protractor okay so before concluding this i have a small request please subscribe to my youtube channel to get latest and further updates okay thank you